Meghan Markle stated in her book that she planned to reveal Prince Harry's shortcomings as a husband. In response to Meghan's struggles with her mental health, Prince Harry has acknowledged that he felt angry and ashamed and that he wished he had done more to help. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications bell, so you don't miss anything about the British royal family. In her upcoming autobiography, Meghan Markle is expected to share her perspective on the remarkable story of the couple and discuss some of Prince Harry's shortcomings. According to rumors, the Duchess of Sussex is writing a memoir in the style of Prince Harry's best-selling autobiography Spare. One can anticipate surprising and intimate revelations from the Duchess' five-year marriage in the open and honest account of her life. Meghan, who has a four-year-old son named Archie and a two-year-old daughter named Lilibet with Harry, is anticipated to be completely honest. As Harry himself alluded to in his book and in their Netflix docuseries, he felt bad about how Meghan was treated while they were living together in the UK and wished he could have done more to help and protect her. The fact that things had gotten so bad that Meghan was contemplating suicide, according to Prince Harry, made him feel angry and ashamed. I felt terribly sad. In the couple's Netflix docuseries, Harry said, I knew she was struggling, we were both struggling, but I never thought that it would get to that stage, and the fact that it got to that stage, I felt angry and ashamed. Harry claimed that despite being aware of Meghan's difficulties, he failed to provide her with the support she required because of his busy schedule as a member of the royal family. I wasn't particularly good at handling it. As opposed to husband Harry, I handled it as institutional Harry. My royal role also took control of my emotions, Harry said. I had been conditioned to worry more about what other people would think if we didn't attend this event or if we arrived late. And now that I look back on it, I despise myself for it. Additionally, a source now asserts that Meghan wants to present her perspective. After Harry had the opportunity to share his story in such detail, Meghan really wants to get her side of the story across, Ma Source tells Bella magazine. Harry acknowledges that there have been times when he has fallen short of perfection in the marriage, but nobody is perfect. While her husband was nowhere to be found, Meghan started her celebrations for turning 42 early last night by going out with her girlfriends. Dot with some friends, including her neighbor Portia de Rossi, the Duchess of Sussex went to the movies to see the newest Barbie film. In a Santa Barbara theater earlier this week, the women saw Margot Robbie's most recent movie. The Duke of Sussex chose to remain at the couple's $14.6 million Montecito mansion, a source said. The source claimed that after seeing the movie, Meghan and her friends continued their night out at the San Isidro Ranch Hotel. A source told Page Six that Meghan was photographed at the opulent hotel with a hen party and wished the upcoming bride good luck for her wedding.